And the funny thing is that we just happened upon it. Like we literally just like stumbled upon this. What's up you guys? Good morning everyone <laughs> and welcome back to our channel today. We hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You guys, we are opening up the vlog this morning which feels great. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good. We have the day off from work today mm -hmm. and we're super excited because we are going to be heading down to Miami. Oh yeah, we going to Miami. <laughs> you guys, we love going down to Miami because yeah, I feel like it's always it. like there's so much to explore there, always something new to see, which is awesome. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm looking at the weather right now here in Fort Lauderdale and there's definitely a storm rolling in. You guys, this weather is crazy. <laughs> this is what it used to look like this morning. Yep. And that's what it's and gonna look like. The storm coming out over the coast, mm -hmm. but how cool is that that we can see that like coming in? That is pretty cool. So chances are there'll be a downpour here pretty soon, and then it should clear up, and hopefully we'll yeah. have good weather. Yeah, hopefully that'll but be the it's, case. But it's warm still, regardless, so it feels <laughs> nice. But Brian and Maddie are just getting little bricks ready. They are here one more day, so they leave on Friday. So we have all day today, all day tomorrow. So we're gonna try and make the most of it with our time with them. So we're gonna go ahead, pack things up, and then we are heading to Miami. you guys we are in one of our favorite favorite yeah. places this place is unreal so super this is, cool this is called Key Biscayne it's mm -hmm. right off the main part of Miami Beach yep not too far but you guys it is like this little tropical oasis you can probably hear the birds, birds. or bugs <laughs> I don't Insects. know what they are this is so pretty though we are at the lighthouse and the lighthouse like the pathway up to the lighthouse is just unreal Brad and Maddie were saying how much this place reminds them of Hawaii it's just yeah. like covered in green it so smells beautiful. amazing this view is just incredible look at that view okay. that is insane so that is seriously so cool seeing the lighthouse right there and so look at little Brixie. they got him in this cute little baby carrier with a little hat on his head he's, he's just he's just snuggled in there yeah so <laughs> cute. guys this is amazing if you are ever near this area you have to have to come here and right behind here you can probably see is a peekaboo of the ocean oh yeah let's so go take a peek today oh we're so happy that it's not raining because it said rain in the forecast but look at this it like yeah. couldn't be better weather this could not be better weather if you guys saw our video when we came here with brit's parents Warren and Glenna, they're awesome. You guys definitely have to go check out that video. But when we came here, it was a little bit stormy. And so the water was not nearly as clear as it is today. We actually couldn't even see anything as far as like visibility, but it's so clear today, it's crazy. I just cannot believe that we get to live in a place like this. Like this is just unreal. Like this is just 30, 40 minutes away from us. And a lot of you guys commented that we should get a toll pass. We did get a toll pass. It saved us, I think, 40 minutes to get here. But this is seriously like amazing. The weather could not be more perfect. The water could not be more perfect and clear. I'm so happy we decided to come. We almost didn't because it showed rain. But yeah. I mean, look at this, it's gorgeous yeah. out here. I don't even know how to predict like the ah. Florida weather. It always says like it's gonna rain, but it like never does. Yeah, it's gorgeous <laughs> out here, you guys. Man, look how blue the water is. <laughs> Imagine being like the lighthouse keeper 
staying here, having this as your view with super calm waters. And even this is your view, like this is so pretty, being surrounded by palm trees. Like that would be such a cool gig, I'd have to say. I don't know, I feel like that'd be so much fun to be a lighthouse keeper. All right guys, we were just finished up over at the lighthouse. It was seriously so cool to be able to like walk that again. Yeah, it was so pretty. But we just found the most amazing little beach. So we <laughs> went to two other ones and the one had seaweed everywhere, yeah. sadly. Like it There's was tons. covered. And it's on like the ocean side, so I think that's why. Yeah, that's probably true. So we decided we saw this one on our way in, you guys. It's just kind of tucked away. It's right near where the bridge that connects Miami mm -hmm. to Key Biscayne is. And it is amazing. Yeah, it's unreal. Oh. <laughs> we got little Brixie with us, we're under our umbrella, so it's perfect with the breeze. <laughs> Maddie and Brett just got out in the water, you guys, but the water is so calm, it's so clear here. Yeah, it's unreal. Like, this is the coolest, like, little beach. It's, yes. it's called Hobby Beach, I think it's something like that. But it's like this little strip of sand and beach. Yeah, so it's literally steps from the parking lot, which is awesome, because a lot yeah. of beaches are really far from the parking lot. Yeah. So this is awesome if you have small kids, there's like no waves whatsoever. It's super shallow. Oh, there's like none. Jared will take you guys out there, but palm trees, there's food trucks here. Plus to the side, you have the city of Miami. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys this. Oh my gosh, the sand is so hot. <laughs> it's like white sandy beaches. It's so cool. So this is the ocean that we're telling you guys about. It's just like this pristine Caribbean waters. Then behind us here, that right there, you guys, is Miami. So it's like the Miami Bay. Anyways, it's just so cool that you can see the Miami skyline right there. You can see the yacht going by. You have the big old bridge that we came across earlier. This beach honestly might be up there as one of our favorite beaches here in Florida. And the funny thing is that we just happened upon it. Like we literally just like stumbled upon this beach and it's honestly just small. And I think that's why people miss it. It's like not really packed right now. And then behind me over here, over that way, this right here is called the Miami Sea Aquarium. I think it's essentially like a sea world or almost something like that. But this is just unreal, like unreal. The water is just so smooth. You guys can see it, like look how smooth that is. I wish like crazy we would have brought our paddle boards because this is perfect paddle boarding weather. Hi right, guys, tell us how the water is. It's insanely warm. <laughs> and the sand is so soft. Yeah. Really? That's so cool. So, so good. <laughs> I could like fall asleep right here. This is pretty insane, like how shallow and just calm this water is. Yeah. This is a good beach for like toddlers, like little kids. Yeah. Seriously, and look at that skyline behind them. That is so yeah, cool. cool. I like the city right there. That is so cool. Yeah. It's crazy because it's tropical. Yeah, there's like a big city. So yeah, kinda, yeah, totally. You got like that urban feel. Yeah, cool. Guys, this water is honestly legit. <laughs> it's just like, it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like perfect. All right guys, I think we're gonna head out now. We made dinner reservations at this place like two weeks ago and we seriously cannot wait to take you guys there. Hey guys, we just got to Shooter's Waterfront for dinner. This place is amazing, you guys. It is booked 
like crazy all the time because I think this actually might be the best restaurant in all of Fort Lauderdale. It is always a super long line of people that want to get in. Brittany actually made this reservation, you guys, no joke, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago to eat here at this place right here. So this is called Shooter's Waterfront. It is literally on the intercoastal. It is the coolest view ever. And one thing that we love about it is that it's pet friendly. So we actually brought Finn with us, which we're super stoked about. We felt bad the last couple of days because We've been going to places that aren't pet friendly and so we haven't been able to bring him around as much. So we were really, really excited when we found out that they were pet friendly because that meant we could bring him along. But I cannot wait to go in there and show you guys it because from the outside, it looks awesome. We just finished up with dinner and it was awesome. The sun is just setting right now, but you can see kind of the palm trees and everything, the sky, it's like, it was awesome. So definitely recommend Shooters if you're in Fort Lauderdale, for sure. But now we're kind of thinking we're gonna go try and catch the actual sunset at the beach for one of Brett and Maddie's last nights yeah, here. Yeah, so sad. Hi buddy, he was so good at dinner, huh? He's sitting on everyone's lap. He's holding his head up, you guys, so well. It's crazy. He's just getting a little too old, huh? Jared and Finn pulled the car up for us. Are you just so excited? He's on cloud nine because he got to come to dinner with us, huh? Yeah, he was gonna jump out the window. Okay, I'm coming. We're all packed up, ready to go, and now we're gonna go catch the sunset. Let's go. All right guys, we just got to the beach and it is unreal right now. It's just so pretty. The sun is about to set. As you can see behind me, it's kind of like that golden hour right now. There is, however, a bunch of seaweed. I think it might've blown in from the storm because it is covering the entire shoreline and it smells like seaweed as well. So I know that they do try to clean it. it. looks like they actually did try to come by and clean it once already before, but nevertheless, it doesn't really ruin the sunset appeal that much. home mm -hmm. what an eventful day yeah like, today we did was a lot of fun so much today we went down to miami yeah saw the lighthouse went yeah. to the beach found a new beach you that guys. was awesome that beach i cannot wait to take i know hopefully brennan and minnie and the kids yeah seriously they that'd be way cool and then we tried out shooters which was a really fun yeah, restaurant and so much fun end of the day at the sunset at our beach which was <laughs> yeah. beautiful which was awesome and then brett and maddie got to take the scooters out which yes. they loved and then we just picked up some, you guys guessed it, bluebell ice cream from Publix. <laughs> so we're gonna dive into that here in a little bit. But you guys may notice, we did go to Best Buy this morning and get a new vlog camera. We did make sure that we can return this without yeah. a restocking fee, because we wanted to test it out. And so far, we're not super Yeah, so far we don't it. love it. <laughs> we honestly may just get our old camera the same yep. version and go back to that. Yep. You know the camera is like, eight years old now, but it's better really, than this one that's brand new. We really <laughs> like it. Anyways, we'll see. But so far, it may just take a little bit to get used to the yeah, settings and different features like that's that. True. But anyways, hey. hopefully the footage is okay and not too crazy. Like the coloring looks so off right now. Yeah, we're it, looks, it looks a little crazy. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you guys had a fun day in Florida <laughs> with us. Make sure you come back tomorrow because it's Brett and Maddie and Brixen's last full day with us, which we're so sad about, but we have more fun coming your way. If you're happy to be new to Jared and Britt, hit that subscribe button, come join our family, and we will see you all tomorrow. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.